Hey guys, what I want to do now um, is create our database and our tables. All right, so I'm going to go to PHP My Admin, and we want to log in and create a new database. And I'm going to call this Job Finds. Okay, and we're going to need uh, a few tables. The first one is going to be the categories table. And this will only have two columns. Okay, so we're going to have an ID and we're going to have a name. ID is going to be the primary key and auto increment. Name will be varchar and we'll have, we'll give it a hundred max characters. All right, so pretty simple. Um, the next table that I want to have is the types table. And that'll have three fields. So we'll have an ID, we'll have a name, and we'll have a color because if you can see, um, you can see here that the types will have different background colors. All right, so um, ID will be an int. It's going to be auto increment and primary, and then name varchar, and that'll be we'll do a hundred color, same thing. Okay, save that. And the next one is users. Okay, this will have eight fields. Okay, so we'll have an ID, uh, first name, last name, email, username, password, role, and created. All right, now, um, before we go any further, I just want to mention that CakePHP has a strict naming convention, uh, and, and database tables are part of that convention. Um, basically, created is used for a create date, okay? Uh, role should be used if you're going to use roles like admin or whatever, it's up to you. Um, and also, if you have a foreign key, for instance, our jobs table will have a user ID uh, field that'll be f linked with the um, with the users table ID. And the convention is to use user underscore ID. All right, our jobs will also have a type ID, so the name of that field should be type ID. All right, but I'll go into that more in a minute. Um, so let's finish this. The ID is auto increment primary. Okay, all these can be varchar. Created. Um, it's going to be a date time. And I'm going to set the default to null. We're going to handle that from within cake. Uh, and then I'm just going to put a hundred for all these. All right, save. All right, so now um, we want to do the jobs, which will be the biggest table. And that's going to have 11 fields. <clears throat> all right, so we'll have an ID for a primary key. All right, and then we're going to have this is what I was saying, category ID which um, has to be named like this if you want to be able to use your relationships, things like that. Um, I know some people might want to just put category, uh, but of course you can do that. There's just you'd have to do more work and you couldn't take advantage of um, all the um, 
all the options that Kate gives you. So we're going to name it category ID, and that's going to be <coughs> excuse me an integer. We'll say 11 for these. Uh, it's also going to have a user ID and also a type ID. All right, um, it's going to have a company name. Um, a title, a description, city, state, contact email, and a created field. <clears throat> All right, so uh, company name, put in a hundred for these. Description, we're going to use text. And then created will be date time and is going to be null. All right, so that's our jobs table. So that's our database. So I want to insert some sample data. Um, so we want to go to SQL. You should have this file called SQL Snippets, uh, which basically lets us, we're going to insert some categories, types, users, and jobs. So I'm going to copy the categories query. All right, so that should give us some categories. Next, we'll do the types. Okay, next, we'll do the users. and the jobs. All right. So you can see we now have some data. Now we're ready to install CakePHP. So I'm going to close that up and go to the cakephp.org site and click on download, which will give us a zip file. And what we want to do is open up that zip file and grab everything. Uh, we don't need, there's a couple things we don't need. We don't need these git files, um, the readme and contributing, we don't need. Uh, so let's just take what we have here and copy it and paste it into your htdocs job finds folder. Alright, so we have the files uploaded. Now let's go to um, localhost slash job finds. And this is basically the start page for any cake PHP application. Alright, so there's a few things we need to do here. Um, let's start at the top. Now we need to change the value of security.salt in the in the config slash core PHP folder. All right, so let's go to that um, in the app config and what was it uh, core? Okay, let's open that up. I'm going to navigate to the job finds directory here, so I don't have to keep using going through Windows. All right, so this is the core file, and we want to look for the security.salt. and that would be right here. All right, so this is the string we need to change. Um, basically, what I usually do is, with things like this, just change a few characters. Change that to an A, change this to a J, I'll change the two to a six, I to a U, I to a K, and that should be fine. Um, and then here as well, the security dot um, cipher seed. You can see that it's also asking us to change that. So let's do that. And this can be anything you want. All right. So if we go ahead and save that. Okay. Now those errors are gone. Next. All right, so these are the success um, 
we're using PHP 5.2.8 or higher. Uh, the, the temporary directory is writable and the file engine is being used for core coaching. So if, if any of these are red or yellow on your system, um, just go ahead and um, make sure that this, this folder is writable. Um, you may want to upgrade your version of PHP to at least um, 5.3. And then down here, uh, our database configuration file is not present. Uh, so we need to go to the config directory and change the name of database.php.default to just database.php. So let's do that. Okay, so in the same config folder. Um, let me see if we can rename this. name all right so what we want to do is just get rid of this default all right um, so let's go ahead and open the database file and if you scroll down you should see this database config class and this is where we're going to put our credentials all right so host is correct local host um, login which is the user of the database uh, password And database name, I believe, it was job finds. And you have basically two different uh, environments you can work in. Uh, we have the default, and then we have a testing environment as well. And I'm just going to use the same for the testing. Okay, so let's save that. Okay, so now we should be connected to the database. Now we have one more configuration, and that's to uh, install debug kit. So um, what we're going to do here is click on the link to the GitHub page, open it in a new tab, and I'm going to go ahead and download the zip, and then open that up. Open this um, debug kit master folder. And then I'm going to go to my uh, job finds app plugin folder and create a new folder there and call it debug kit. And we just want to bring all these files over. Okay, so go back to our application and reload and it looks like we're still getting it oh and it looks like I spelled debug wrong okay so we need to just fix this still debug kit is not installed Very strange. Uh, actually, I think we need to enable it in config slash bootstrap PHP. And right here, we just want to uncomment this. Actually, let's just move it out of this block. Okay, so let's save that. There we go. All right, so we have our database created. We have our application installed and configured. In the next video, um, we'll probably get into um, controllers and possibly views and layouts and things like that. All right, so I will see you in the next video.